Hey everybody, welcome back to another NASCAR podcast for here today. This is the NASCAR Freak, and this is the 40th review of 2023. And today I have right here Todd Gillen's number 38 generator skills Ford from Fire Motorsports. This is the paint scheme that he ran in the Daytona 500 with. Uh, this was actually an exclusive die cast in the NASCAR Dynamics Wave number 5. Uh, I found this one of my local Target today. Um, and this is actually the first J mold die cast for me. This is technically with the brand new PTC mold. And, uh, speaking of the PTC mold, I guess it got upgraded to the J mold, which, uh, this is my first PTC mold slash J mold die cast since 2016. Uh, and I looked at this, uh, Todd Gillen die cast. It doesn't really look that bad in the quality, but, uh, definitely a lot of racing is definitely, I guess, um, maybe taking your, lowest quality mold basically upgrading and making better which is actually really good basically for that we're going in the right direction i should say uh but i finally found that way number five uh it's been like six weeks since i've been going after it um i was just going to my local walmart and targets and searching for this for for a little while uh and just i had to wait basically for six weeks to for this one to come out i was also trying to find wave two of the winter circle line but unfortunately that is not going to come in until maybe another couple of weeks and such but uh yeah, everything just distribution wise, it's really, really slow. But uh, hang in, everybody that is trying to find Todd Gillen, everybody, uh, it will come in, but it's just going to take a little while, basically, for some places to get it. Uh, but otherwise, um, we're going to go and open up Todd Gillen's car up out of the packaging here and review this diecast for the 40th review of 2023. So here's the diecast out of the packaging here. This is on the 2023 Todd Gillen Generator Skills Ford Mustang from Front Motor Sports. Uh, this is uh, one of the cars that he ran during the year. Todd Killer was actually kind of uh, doing some uh, uh, ride splitting as he was racing, racing the number 38 car. And also racing for Rick Ware Racing, driving the number 51. Uh, and uh, and Todd Killer basically did, he'd done that basically for a couple of times this season. Allowed Zane Smith to get some cup time, uh, basically some seat time behind the wheel of a cup car. Um and by the way, this Todd Gillen car is on the J mold. I actually taken some time to just look at it, basically find differences on it. And it appears to me that uh, I, I probably don't really want to go in too much comparisons. If you guys have a J mold die cast, it actually does feel different uh, on the chassis. It's very, like, very cheap material. But here's the Ford F, uh, Ford Mustang nose. I was about to say F-150. This is not a truck. Here's the Ford Mustang nose. Generators goes on the hook along with Ford. Uh, Lana Racing has been fixing the decal issues on these J-Mold cars, which I give them props for that. There's also do see some uh, paint chips and stuff, but they're very, very light. Here is the left side right here. You can definitely tell that this is definitely a PTC mold car by the, uh, the window down and the chassis. Um, here is the roof right here. No windshield banners, by the way. There's generator skills on the roof as a roof sponsor. Generator skills on both the deck one in the back, right here as well. And here is the right to the diecast here, same size to the left. I will tell you guys now that if you guys are really not wanting to buy the Todd Gillen Generator Skills diecast, I don't blame you if you guys don't want to buy a J Mold diecast, but um, here is the differences I really see on this diecast than I do on the EL Mold cars. Uh, the the J Mold cars. They actually have a smaller uh, tire or wheelbase. The wheelbase on these J-Mold cars are smaller. Let me go show you really quickly. Um, look how like look how thin that is. Let me go pick up one of the Fords really quickly, or well as another car, and show you how wide uh, the tires are. The wheels are basically for these cars. Look at how this is for Mike Waddell. That is really really wide. And let me go show you again for Todd Gillen very very narrow so you can see it right there that the the wheelbase basically for todd gill is way smaller um and the colors on this car it's not really that dull to me but they still kind of slap stickers and stuff like that on it and uh and that's how they do it but uh other than that um this die cast really it doesn't look that bad i i know they've been making major improvements on it which is good but I really want to see these die casts, these authentic die casts, be made on the EL mold, most importantly. But uh, if it is going to be on the J mold, I know that's trying to get it out there. Um, at least try to make it as, um, I would say, 
just good as good quality as much as humanly possible. Uh, but that's this has been it for this diecast review, uh, guys. There is the Truck Series race tonight for the championship, so as well as all the championship races. It is championship weekend, and uh, I couldn't be any happier to do a diecast review for you guys on the championship weekend. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been the NASCAR Freak here. Make sure you guys like and comment, subscribe. I got more NASCAR diecast reviews coming out. Uh, hopefully, just whenever I can find more diecast and, uh, and such like that. Diecast has been coming out like crazy these past several months. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Signing out and God bless.